All right, going to be a very quick video on a Browning Golden Eagle Mark 4 or 4A, the pin cap. Um, the pin cap is in the receiver, not the transmitter. And this is a, um, a Mark 4A receiver, but it doesn't matter whether it's a 4 or a 4A receiver. The um, It actually, all the ones I have, and I looked at uh, 7 different um, 4's and 4A's that I have currently and all of them have the same board here where um, the pin cap location is this blue cap right here um, this one is not original the original pin cap is actually a long uh, what do they call that uh, radio no actual cap it's long like this yellow one and the original pin cap, instead of being circular and tall like this one, it's long and it goes to that um, hole right there. It stretches across from, uh, the first pin is on the left side of this blue one under it, and the second um, pin, the ground, is over here. But newer caps are much, much smaller than their original, and I replaced the old big ugly one uh, 40 year old cap with this smaller um, uh, I guess radio cap and I got a very small drill bit the size of the uh, pinholes and drilled a hole also the ground so it's mounted you know solid there so this is the replacement uh, pin cap with the original one is um, from the left side of here and then stretches across to here now the Pin cap in a Mark 4A, the one that came from the factory, is marked as a 2 UF or 2 microfarad cap at 450 volts. A 2 UF or 2 microfarad cap will not ping. You need at least 10, 10 UFs for a short ping or, or even 20 um, for a decent ping. And then you go up from there like 40s a medium and 60s a long and go 100 for very long as far as the UFs and as you go with bigger UFs you're going to need a bigger cap and often they won't uh, fit here so you need to wire it in um, somewhere else but that's the uh, location of the original cap also if you look over here at resistor R238 here this big uh, 3 watt resistor red 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 2.2K is also not original that resistor provides the power to the pin cap and also some of the power to the tube here and what it does when the um, transmitter is keyed up the receiver is basically unkeyed um, the power is removed from the receiver because you're transmitting and the pin cap, whatever size you got here, is already charged up when you're uh, receiving. But when you key down and you take the power away, that's going to hold a charge for a, a little while. And the bigger the cap, the more or longer uh, charge it's going to hold, the longer it's going to ping. Because it's firing up the uh, tube that belongs here, the 6AQ5. And it's keeping them powered up for as long as it can hold a charge. And with the... Uh, transmitter already keyed and the receiver getting a charge from that cap you get feedback and that's how you get the ping but anyway the bigger you go with the uh, ping caps it puts more stress on this dropping resistor right here R238 which is normally a quarter watt from factory so you if you go into medium or long pings you want to bump that up to a, a, a two watt you know it's fine and I think that's a three watt there um, that's R238 so that's about all well let's go underneath this guy because that that cap up there was the original 2UF which again doesn't ping and I left that in there because um, this is a customer's, not mine, and he wanted the ping to be turned off and on. And with the ping uh, that I added turned off, I still wanted that uh, junction to have a little bit of capacitance, so it still got the original two in there. But um, underneath, 
Let's see if we can get the camera situated here. Okay. This is the uh, audio tube here. Everything's unplugged and discharged. That's why I can touch it. Um, and it's a 7 pin tube. And the pins go, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 back underneath here. The pin cap is going to be connected to pin 6 here, some way, somehow. You know, through a trace or directly. And you can see the trace goes down and across. And it also goes up and up to that red wire and even past it. This red wire was added um, by me. Um, again, I drilled a little small hole just enough to get the wire through there so the wire is nice and secure. And that wire is added. I'm trying to work the camera. It's funny looking at the picture. It's way off from where the camera I actually had to hold it to get the picture right. So anyway, that red wire is added and it goes across and up to this added cap here this is the um, longer pin cap it's a 47 U uh, uh, cap so that red wire goes to um, the positive since that's hooked to the um, juice at pin 6 over there basically through the trace and up there so that red wire goes to the positive and then because he wanted to be able to turn this uh, cap off and on this red wire goes out to a switch uh, can, so that negative end is connected to a switch and then the other negative end of that switch is connected to a ground that way you can turn this uh, ping cap here off and on so with it off no ping and with it on with a 47 UF you kind of get a medium ping with it so there are many ways to do this you know to add the ping cap you can put it you know originally where I showed you uh, on the circuit board but um, um, I mounted this um, Oh, having a brain fart, but I mounted this uh, uh, connector here and the cap and those that uh, negative wire goes to a switch. It's one other thing I wanted to show you is that to run a receiver the Mark IV or the 4A, they're the, almost exactly the same almost uh, but to run the receiver alone, standalone, you need to short pins 7 and 9 together. Uh, what happens is the receiver sends some of the high voltage up into the transmitter into a relay. And when the uh, transmitter is not keyed, the voltage comes through the relay and back down into the receiver, having the receiver be on. And then when the uh, transmitter is keyed, the relay shuts off that voltage coming back down to the uh, transmitter. I mean, down to the receiver. So to get the uh, receiver running without a transmitter and through that relay, you need to short pins 7 and 9. And those would be the two pins underneath here. Um, if you started at the bottom... It would be uh, one and then on top two and then three at the bottom and then four and that's all, all the way down. And the last two down here underneath would be nine and then on top would be ten. So the two you would need to short would be the um, last two down here underneath. And as you can see, hard to get to. So one easy way if you get a um, since Jones plug and that's called a P310 P is in Paul and then 310 P stands for plug and then you'll see a S in front of some that would be the socket so you need to plug and it's a P310 it's a 10 pin and it looks like that and then if I probably should have taken this apart but if you take this apart and you wire across pin 7 and 9 the corresponding pins here and you plug that little guy in I can run the receiver without needing a transmitter at all by doing that 
So anyway, I think that's all I got for this one. And I said it's going to be quick, so I'm going to go bye-bye. All right. Good luck. Good hunting. See ya.